Welcome back to Simply Logical. This is Vinkesh. Given 10 identical bottles of identical pills, each bottle contains 100 of pills. Out of 10 bottles, 9 have 1 gram of pills, but one bottle has pills of the weight of 1.1 gram. Given a measurement scale, how would you find the heavy bottle? You can use the scale only once. So question can also be asked like, what is the minimum number of ways required to find the bottle with the pills which is heavier? So let me repeat the puzzle. Given 10 identical bottles of identical pills, each bottle contains hundreds of pills. Out of 10 bottles, 9 have 1 gram of pills, but one bottle has pills of the weight of 1.1 gram. Given a measurement scale, how would you find the heavy bottle? Which means you are supposed to identify a bottle which is having an heavier pills, which measures 1.1 gram. The condition provided here is you can use the scale only once. So assumption should be made that the measurement scale which is given is digital and not analog. So this is one of the most commonly asked job interview puzzle. I will present you the most logical way to get the correct answer. Pause the video and give it a try before checking the solution and do not forget to comment if you found something very very interesting. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so that you do not miss any of our videos. Let's check the solution now. Initially, this looks like a complicated puzzle, but this is a simple one if you know the logic. Since only 10 bottles are given, puzzle becomes more simple. And if you start weighing every bottle, then this is not the logical approach to get the correct answer. Let me explain the most systematic way to get the answer. Let's go step by step. In the step 1, arrange the bottles on the shelf and now take 1 pill from the first bottle, 2 pills from the second bottle, 3 pills from the third bottle and so on. So remember, this is the logic. If you know this particular logic and you can solve this puzzle with no time. Suppose if you are not aware of this particular logic, then probably you will be messing around some illogical thought process which is not going to lead to the correct answer. So the logic is take one pill from the first bottle, two pills from the second bottle, three pills from the third bottle and so on till 10 pills from the 10th bottle, then add number of pills. So it looks like this, the equation becomes 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 till plus 10. So this is sum of n natural numbers. In this case, n is equal to 10. We know that sum of n natural numbers can be calculated using the formula n into n plus 1 divided by 2. After solving the equation, we get 55. You can count instead of using the formula, but if number of bottles are more, then it is better to go with the formula to find the sum of n natural numbers. So in the step 2, Ideally, you would have uh, 55 pills weighing 55 grams if you assume all pills weigh 1 gram. But there are pills from one bottle which weigh 0.1 gram more. So when you put the entire pile of pills on the weighing scale, the deviation from the 55 gram would tell you which bottle contains the heavy pills. In step 3, uh, you observe what is the deviation. That is, if the deviation is 0.1 gram more, uh, it is the first bottle which has AV pills. It is because only one pill is picked from the bottle, one which will add 0.1 gram extra weight with 55.1 grams. Similarly, if the deviation is 0.2 gram more, then second bottle has AV pills. It is because two pills picked from the bottle two, which will add 0.2 gram extra weight with 55.2 grams. And if it is 0.3 grams more, then third bottle has AV pills. If it is 0.4 gram more, then fourth bottle has AV pills and so on. And finally, if the total weight is 56 grams, then tenth bottle has AV pills. It is because 10 pills picked from bottle 10, which will add 1 gram extra weight with 56 grams. So in this way, we can find the bottle with AV pills logically using these simple steps. That's all for this video. If you have not understood the solution, do watch again. If you have any doubts, do comment. I will try to reply as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in the next video with one more interesting topic. Thank you.